Top 25 Postgre SQL Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will explore the top 25 Postgre SQL interview questions and answers that can help candidates prepare effectively. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, these questions cover essential concepts and practical scenarios. The focus will be on key topics such as database design, performance optimization, and advanced features. By reviewing these questions, you will gain valuable insights to boost your confidence during the interview process. 1. What is Postgre SQL? PostgreSQL is an advanced object relational database management system that supports a wide variety of data types and programming languages. It is known for its strong compliance with SQL standards, stability, and extensibility. PostgreSQL offers features such as multi-version concurrency control, MVCC, full text search, geographic information systems, GIS, support, and customizable data types. Its robustness makes it suitable for both small applications and large enterprise solutions. PostgreSQL is open source, which encourages a strong community that contributes to its continuous development and enhancement. 2. What are the key features of PostgreSQL? PostgreSQL is powerful, open source object relational database system with many advanced features. It supports complex queries, large databases, and high concurrency. Key features include a CID compliance ensuring reliable transactions, support for advanced data types like JSONB and arrays, full text search capabilities, and robust extensibility with custom functions. The system supports multi-version concurrency control, which allows multiple transactions to occur simultaneously without locking issues. Additionally, PostgreSQL offers strong security features, including role-based access control and SSL connections, ensuring data safety. 3. Explain multi-version concurrency control, MVCC, in PostgreSQL. Multi-version concurrency control, MVCC, in PostgreSQL allows multiple transactions to access the database simultaneously without locking each other. It achieves this by maintaining multiple versions of each row. When a transaction modifies a row, it creates a new version while the old version remains accessible to other transactions. This mechanism ensures that each transaction operates on a snapshot of the database at a specific point in time, providing consistency and isolation. MVCC enhances performance by reducing lock contention, allowing red operations to be non-blocking, which is essential for high concurrency environments. 4. What is the difference between a primary key and a foreign key? A primary key is a unique identifier for a record within a table, ensuring that no two rows can have the same value in this column. It enforces entity integrity and is defined during the table creation process. In contrast, a foreign key is a column or set of columns in one table that links to the primary key of another table, establishing a relationship between the two tables. It is used to maintain referential integrity, ensuring that the value in the foreign key column corresponds to an existing value in the referenced primary key column. This relationship allows for effective data organization and retrieval. 5. What are the main types of constraints in PostgreSQL? In PostgreSQL, the main types of constraints include not null, which ensures that a column cannot have null values, unique, which ensures all values in a column are distinct, primary key, which uniquely identifies each row in a table and combines not null and unique, foreign key, which maintains referential integrity by linking to a primary key in another table. Check, which ensures that values in a column meet a specific condition. And exclusion, which prevents certain combinations of values in specified columns. Each constraint serves to maintain data integrity and enforce rules on the data within the database. 6. How does PostgreSQL handle indexing? What types of indexes are available? PostgreSQL handles indexing by allowing the creation of various index types to enhance query performance. The most commonly used index type is the B-tree index, which is efficient for equality and range queries. Other types include hash indexes, suitable for equality comparisons, and GIST, generalized search tree, indexes, which support complex data types like geometric data. BRIN, block range indexes, are optimized for large tables with contiguous data. PostgreSQL also supports GIN, generalized inverted index, for full text search and JSONB data types, providing flexibility in indexing strategies tailored to specific use cases. 7. What is table partitioning in PostgreSQL? Table partitioning in PostgreSQL is a database design technique that allows large tables to be divided into smaller, more manageable pieces called partitions. Each partition is stored as a separate table, but they are all treated as a single entity for querying purposes. This technique enhances performance and improves query efficiency by enabling faster data access and maintenance. Partitioning can be done using range, list, or hash methods, allowing for flexible data organization based on specific criteria. It is particularly beneficial for handling large datasets and optimizing query performance in data-intensive applications. 8. What is a trigger in PostgreSQL? 
How is it used? A trigger in PostgreSQL is a special type of stored procedure that automatically executes in response to certain events on a table or view, such as insert, update, or delete operations. Triggers are used to enforce business rules, maintain data integrity, and automate tasks. For instance, a trigger can log changes made to a table, enforce complex validation rules, or synchronize data between tables. They can be defined to execute either before or after the triggering event, allowing for flexible control over data modifications. 9. How can you backup a PostgreSQL database? To backup a PostgreSQL database, you can use the pg underscore dump utility, which creates a logical backup of the database. This tool allows you to export the database schema and data into a file. You can run the command as follows pg dump u username wfcbvf backup file backup database name. In this command, replace username with your PostgreSQL username, database underscore name with the name of the database you wish to backup, and backup file. Backup with your desired output file name. The FC option specifies the custom format, which is suitable for restoring with PG Restore. You can also perform a plain text backup by omitting the F option, which is useful for human readable formats. 10. What is the purpose of the PG Dump utility? The PG Dump utility is used for backing up a PostgreSQL database. It creates a text file or archive file containing SQL commands that, when executed, will recreate the database and its objects, such as tables, data, indexes, and constraints. This utility allows for selective database backups, meaning you can choose to backup an entire database or specific tables. It supports various formats, including plain SQL scripts and custom formats, which can be restored using the PG Restore utility. It is essential for disaster recovery, data migration, and version control of database schema changes. 11. What is PL, Python in PostgreSQL? PL, Python is a procedural language supported by PostgreSQL that allows users to write functions and stored procedures using Python. It enables the integration of Python's extensive libraries and features directly into PostgreSQL, allowing developers to perform complex data manipulations, calculations, and analyses. PL, Python functions can accept parameters, return results, and utilize PostgreSQL's SQL capabilities seamlessly. This flexibility makes it particularly useful for data processing tasks, statistical analysis, and building custom applications that require the power of both Python and a relational database management system. 12. How do you change a column's data type in PostgreSQL? To change a column's data type in PostgreSQL, you can use the alter table statement along with the alter column clause. The basic syntax is as follows. Alter table table name, alter column column name type new data type. You may also need to use the using clause if the existing data does not automatically convert to the new type. For example, alter table table name, alter column column name type new data type using column name, new data type. It's essential to ensure that the change does not violate any constraints or lead to data loss. Always back up your data before making structural changes to the database. 13. What is a CTID in PostgreSQL? CTID is a system column in PostgreSQL that uniquely identifies a row within a table. Each row in a table has a unique CTID that consists of a pair of numbers, the block number and the tuple index within that block. CTID can be useful for identifying specific rows when no primary key is available. It allows users to perform operations like updates or deletes on rows efficiently. However, since CTID is not stable and can change with certain operations, like vacuum, it's generally not recommended for long-term storage or use in application logic. 14. How do you update statistics in PostgreSQL? In PostgreSQL, statistics are used by the query planner to determine the most efficient way to execute a query. To update statistics, you can use the analyze command, which collects statistics about the contents of tables in the database. This command analyzes the data distribution and updates the statistics stored in the system catalogs. You can run analyze on an entire table or a specific column. Additionally, PostgreSQL automatically updates statistics during certain operations, but manual updates can improve query performance, especially after significant data modifications. Regularly updating statistics helps maintain optimal query execution plans. 15. What is normalization in the context of PostgreSQL databases? Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. In PostgreSQL, this often involves structuring tables and relationships to ensure that each piece of data is stored only once. By dividing larger tables into smaller, related ones, you can achieve different normal forms, such as first normal form, 1NF, second normal form, 2NF, and third normal form, 3NF. Normalization helps maintain consistency, simplifies data management, and enhances query performance by reducing the amount of duplicate data. 16. How can you avoid unnecessary locking in PostgreSQL? To avoid unnecessary locking in PostgreSQL, 
consider using the following strategies. First, utilize appropriate transaction isolation levels such as read committed, which allows for more concurrency. Second, minimize the duration of transactions by keeping them short and avoiding long-running operations within a transaction. Third, employ optimistic concurrency control by using techniques such as versioning or timestamps, which can reduce lock contention. Additionally, consider using advisory locks for implementing application-level locking mechanisms, allowing for more control over resource access without affecting database-level locks. 17. What is write-ahead logging, WAL, in PostgreSQL? Write-ahead logging, WAL, is a crucial feature in PostgreSQL that ensures data integrity and durability. It works by writing changes to a log file before they are applied to the actual database. This process allows PostgreSQL to recover from crashes or failures by replaying the WAL entries, which contain all the modifications made to the database. WAL maintains a sequence of log records that track every transaction, ensuring that no data is lost and that the database can be restored to a consistent state. By using WAL, PostgreSQL can efficiently manage recovery and enhance performance during heavy write operations. 18. What are some advantages and disadvantages of PostgreSQL? PostgreSQL offers several advantages, including robust support for advanced data types, extensibility, and compliance with SQL standards. Its powerful indexing capabilities and support for concurrent transactions through MVCC enhance performance. On the downside, it may have a steeper learning curve compared to other databases. Performance tuning can require significant effort, and some users find it less intuitive for complex queries. Additionally, while PostgreSQL is highly customizable, this can lead to increased maintenance complexity, especially in large-scale deployments. 19. How does PostgreSQL support cloud deployments? PostgreSQL supports cloud deployments through various means. It can be easily deployed on cloud platforms like AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure, utilizing managed services such as Amazon RDS, Google Cloud SQL, and Azure Database for PostgreSQL. These services offer automated backups, scaling, and monitoring features. PostgreSQL's compatibility with containerization technologies, like Docker, allows for easy migration and orchestration using Kubernetes. Additionally, its extensible architecture supports custom extensions that enhance cloud functionality, enabling developers to leverage cloud-native features like serverless computing and data analytics. 20. What are some common procedural languages supported by PostgreSQL? PostgreSQL supports several procedural languages that enhance its capabilities for writing functions and stored procedures. The most common ones include PL, PGSQL, which is a powerful language for creating complex stored procedures and triggers. PL, Perl and PL, Python allow developers to write functions in Perl and Python, respectively, enabling greater flexibility with external libraries and tools. Additionally, PL, Java provides the ability to write functions in Java. These languages facilitate advanced data processing and allow developers to leverage their preferred programming paradigms in database operations. 21. What is the difference between GIST and BRIN indexes? GIST, Generalized Search Tree, Indexes are versatile and support complex data types and queries, such as geometric data and full text search. They allow for various types of queries, such as nearest neighbor searches. In contrast, BRIN, block range indexes, are designed for large tables with naturally ordered data and provide efficient space usage. They store summary information about ranges of blocks instead of individual rows. This makes BRIN particularly efficient for queries that involve range scans, while GIST excels in handling nonlinear and complex querying tasks. Each serves specific needs in database optimization. 22. What are some database administration tools for PostgreSQL? There are several database administration tools available for PostgreSQL that help manage and optimize database operations. Popular options include PGAdmin, a web-based management tool offering a graphical interface for database administration tasks. PiperMail provides a command line interface for PostgreSQL, allowing efficient management via scripts. PostgreSQL Studio offers a user-friendly web interface for database monitoring and management. DBver is a universal database tool that supports PostgreSQL along with various other databases. Datagrip provides advanced features for database developers, enhancing productivity. 23. How does PostgreSQL handle transactions and isolation levels? PostgreSQL manages transactions using the ACID properties, atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. When a transaction is initiated, PostgreSQL ensures that either all operations succeed or none at all. Isolation levels determine how transactions interact, with four standard levels, read uncommitted, read committed, repeatable read, and serializable. Each level provides a different balance between performance and consistency. The default level, read committed, ensures that any data read is committed at that moment, while serializable offers the highest level of isolation, 
preventing phenomena like dirty reads and phantom reads. 24. What are exclusion constraints in PostgreSQL? Exclusion constraints in PostgreSQL allow you to ensure that certain combinations of values in a table are unique, based on a specified operator. They enable the enforcement of complex uniqueness rules beyond what standard primary and unique keys can provide. For example, you can prevent overlapping date ranges in a booking system by defining an exclusion constraint using the and operator for date types. This feature is beneficial for scenarios where you need to restrict certain data from coexisting, improving data integrity and reducing the potential for conflicts in your database. 25. How does PostgreSQL support full text search? PostgreSQL provides powerful full text search capabilities, allowing efficient searching through large text data. It uses a combination of text search components like TS Vector for storing searchable documents and T Query for representing search queries. The GIN, Generalized Inverted Index, and GIST, Generalized Search Tree, indexes can optimize search performance. Users can create search configurations that define linguistic rules, such as stemming and stop words. Functions like to TS Vector and to T Query help convert text into searchable formats, enabling advanced features like ranking results based on relevance. This makes PostgreSQL suitable for applications requiring robust search functionality. As you prepare for your PostgreSQL interview, mastering these top 25 questions will significantly boost your confidence and readiness. Understanding key concepts, common challenges, and practical applications will not only help you in interviews but also enhance your overall database skills. We hope this video has provided valuable insights and resources for your journey in mastering PostgreSQL if you found this information helpful. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Happy learning!